here's a frequently asked question. In presenting type to a group, I will frequently have clients ask, I do both of these things, why do I have to choose? I, I do this and that. Well, listen to that statement. I do this and that. Um, those are behaviors. I act in this way and I act in this way. And so why do I, uh, how do I choose which is my type? Remember, this goes, takes us to a core element of type and understanding. That there is something that is behavior. And this is your behavior. This is what you do. This is how you act. This is how you engage with me, with this discussion, with the group. Uh, your behavior. And type assumes that your behavior is what it needs to be. Uh, you can choose how you behave. Separate from your behavior is your type. And your type are these series of preferences. What are your preferences? What do you prefer? What's automatic for you? Now, realize that there are many aspects of your behavior that actually coincide with your type. In fact, um, we understand that a type lets us understand why we make those behavioral choices, why you have a tendency to do this or that. And that's in accordance with your type. But there are many aspects of your type that are outside, uh, and many aspects of your behavior that are outside of your type. These are the things that you do because your training has taught them to you, because your role demands it, because life demands it. You frequently, to be successful in life, need to stretch outside of your type preferences and act accordingly. And so, I do both of these things. Why do I have to choose? We're talking about two different things. You do different things, yes, that's your behavior, and that means that you're successful and developed and that's good. What type is asking is not what do you do, but it's what do you prefer? Who is the you underneath all those hats you wear?